Young wizard, please see me at once. It is time for us to marshal our forces against Morganth. Ah, oh, my dear young wizard, you are well rested, I hope, from your last ordeal. It is long past time we dealt with Morganth. We must rally the forces of light. Sadly, the council is reduced to only Diego, the Emperor of Mushu, Lydia Grey Rose, and myself. I need your aid, for you have forged a robust relationship with many defenders of light. Travel to Zavaria and convince the mystic in younger white stripes to join the Council of Light. Then go to Avalon and find King Artorius in the Knight's Hall. Tell him his might is needed once again. While you carry these messages, I will send Diego to ruined Azteca to call upon Princess Senzen Seven Star. Deliver your messages and then return here at once. Travel to Zafaria to invite in younger white stripes to the Council of Light. Then go to Avalon and tell King Artorius we will need his help as well. Good luck. Jumbo, young wizard, it has been some time. Even from here, I can see that the shadows grow long across the spiral. You wish my help? Of course. I will do what I can to aid one who did so much for my world. What is it that I can do? To join the Council of Light? You bestow a great honor upon me, wizard. Tell Merlambros I will come to his side at once. By the spiral, it is the young wizard back amongst us. But I can tell from your visage that dark times are still ahead. Merle Ambrose asks me to join the Council of Light? That I cannot do, for there is still much work I must do to restore the land. But Avalon will not refuse Ravenwood in this hour of need. Instead, the Lady of the Lake will go in my place. Speak to her and tell her it is my command. But before you go, I have one more gift for you, blessed Knight of the Silver Rose. The Sword of Kings has bonded to your spirit. You may summon its power whenever you feel the darkness press upon you. Use it only for justice.
by the spiral, wizard, you stand at the center of the dark storm with nightmares all around you. You bear word from King Artorius? Of course I will join the Council of Light and help you in the battle against the Great Shadow. Quick, you flew with the speed of Gamma's wings. What did they say? I'm pleased to hear in younger white stripes will join us. Excellent work. And what of Avalon? Hmm. It saddens me that Artorius will not fight at my sight again. But the lady is a remarkable spirit and will serve us well. Now, we must finish our preparations. Morganth has retreated to the Shadow Web, at the center of the world of Chrysalis. Chrysalis is a strange and alien world on the farthest bend of the spiral. It was a place of savage wars and ancient magic. The spiral key we once had was destroyed long ago, so we must forge one anew. A tiny isle, broken from the edge of Chrysalis, is still reachable, however. Professor Lydia Grey Rose will get us there. Visit the School of Ice and use Professor Grey Rose's Ice Archway to journey to the Isle of Arachnis, so we may craft a new key. No time to dally. Go to Lydia Grey Rose and use her ice archway to travel to the Isle of Arachnis. I'll meet you there. Young wizard, I've been waiting for you. I've built an ice archway to take you to the Isle of Arachnis. The ice archway is across the way in the ice tower. Pass through it and find Headmaster Ambrose. He's waiting for us there. Young wizard, what kept you? Welcome to the Isle of Arachnis. Arachnis is a fragment of the spiral world of Chrysalis, broken off hundreds of years ago by Morganth in her recklessness. You can see Chrysalis there, through this door. A savage world. A dead. It gives birth to terrors and draws nightmares like the candle pulls them off. Morganth is learning the song of creation from the Lords of Night. It requires all her focus, but she will learn it. When she masters it, she will brush us aside like motes of dust, and the spiral will be hers. 
Mokant has shielded Chrysalis from us, and without a spiral key, there is no easy way to get there. So we must make a new spiral key. Has such a thing been done before? Not in a very long time, Emperor. What do you say, Emperor? To create a new spiral key, we need elements to embody Chrysalis herself. The triad of life, death, and myth must be served. The Condor Woods were a wondrous forest, teeming with life and blooming with possibility, until Morganth burnt it down. Now it is a lifeless desert, brimming with bitterness and anger. Still, where there is hope, life and light can take root. The last seed of the last Condor tree is nearby. Guarded by wordless woodsmen, these tree folk are all that is left of the once great forest. Bring the condor seed to us. Get the condor seed from the wordless woodsman and bring it to us. Woodsmen scattered, you recover a hard seed about the size of a plum. Poor, tortured creatures. Perhaps we will be able to help them one day. But today is not that day. We must work quickly, yes? You are correct, Diego. Good work, wizard. You got the conduit seed. This will act as a conduit for life magic and be one of our anchors for the ritual. 
Now we turn from the spark of life to the black void of death. To build the triad, we must take the last condor seed and fuse it with a symbol of closure and endings. The Lady of the Lake will guide you here. The Lady of the Lake will guide you now. The strongest magic is sympathetic. We draw on the life and death and myth of a world to recreate what was lost. Morganth trails death and destruction in her wake, so much that it clings to her like bitter smoke. The spiral still weeps for Azteca. An undead Aztecasaur dwells here on the Isle of Arachnis. This grinning Kalaka is a lost remnant of the First World. His bones resonate with Azteca's Requiem. Battle grinning Kalaka and get the Underworld Compass, a relic of death magic. Bring it to Queen Zenzen Seven Star. Defeat the grinning Kalaka and obtain his underworld compass. Bring it to Queen Zenzen. you recover a golden relic carved with death school symbols around an Azteca sun. Wizard, this underworld compass thrums with the cries of my people. It also keens for the brave souls of Chrysalis who have fallen under Morgant's reign. It will serve our purpose. Show it to the Lady of the Lake. Wizard, we now possess two points of the triad we need for our ritual. 
combination of three schools of magic is nigh unbeatable. We have life and death. The third point is formed by myth. In younger white stripes, we'll show you how to bring them all together. In younger white stripes, we'll show you how to bring the symbols together. The triad of life, death, and myth is the foundation for our greatest stories, yes? The professors from Wizard City have brought a powerful relic with them, the Diamond Myth Forge. Cyrus was not thrilled to lug it out of the basement of the myth school, but he would not refuse me. Bring the Konda Seed and the Underworld Compass to the Diamond Myth Forge. We will channel our power to you. You must perform the ritual of forging and hammer the elements into a spiral key. Place the Konda Seed and the Underworld Compass upon the Diamond Myth Forge. Use our power to perform the ritual of forging. Excellent work, young wizard. I can feel you channeling our power to your ritual. Remember to temper life with death, death with myth, and myth with life. Do not lose control of the triad of magic. Picture chrysalis in your mind's eye. Feel its essence in the ground beneath your feet and in the heart of the conda seed. Listen for the echo of all those hearts that Morgant has stilled. The underworld compass points you to her black place of power. Oh my, let us see what you have there. My, 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 a new spiral key, wonderful work. And with this, know that we consider you an honorary member of the Council of Light. Young wizard, Morganth's wards keep us out of Chrysalis, but we will remain here as close as we can get to watch over you. Use whatever trickery you must to find and release the Lords of Night from Morganth's clutches. Then defeat her. Once and for all. Morganth is forcing the ancient Azteca saw spirits, the Lords of Night, to sing the song of creation anew. In her version of the great song, she is the stalwart hero, battling the cruel forces of injustice. But... If she is able to complete her song of creation, the spiral will be forever broken. Go to Bartleby and use the spiral key to travel to Chrysalis. Morgan's sentinels will think you are there to join her forces. We may even be able to project ourselves into the world in astral form and give you what guidance we can. Take the spiral key to Bartleby and travel to Chrysalis. Use trickery to join her forces as you must. Find the Lords of Night and release them from her clutches. Then face Morganth once and for all.
What is your name and purpose? Headmaster Ambrose said to use trickery to let them think you were here to join them. Maybe you can avoid a fight if you talk to her. Come to serve the Shadow Queen? I am Zoltana the Mirror Mask. It is my duty to test those who wish to swear allegiance to Queen Morganth. Prove yourself, stranger. Go into the Weeping Tower and slaughter all you find within. <laughs> <laughs> 